All new at 5.30 in NASA's big plans to return Americans to the moon, those astronauts will need some wheels. The final Apollo missions were the last time, believe it or not, astronauts explored the lunar surface on a moon rover. Now NASA is telling us who will build that next rover for the Artemis program. News 6's James Barbero has more on the big announcement. A spacecraft with wheels. The lunar roving vehicle has proven itself invaluable in extending man's ability to explore the moon. That old film really gives you a feeling of just how long it's been since Americans not only walked on the moon, but also drove on the moon. We'll fast forward to just two years ago now when the Artemis program got off the ground. Now in another year, Artemis' first astronauts are supposed to fly around the moon. And then during Artemis 3, maybe in two more years, NASA plans to land astronauts on the moon. So when will those astronauts have their wheels? Well, it could be during Artemis 5. NASA just announced three companies will build new lunar terrain vehicles, or LTVs, to help explore the unexplored and move cargo. Those companies are Lunar Outpost, Astrolab, and Intuitive Machines, whose CEO Steve Altimus I interviewed before the Embry-Riddle alums company launched its moon lander this year. A month ago, I was in this room in a press conference celebrating a successful soft landing on the moon. And this next step, this LTV award, is just an exciting next step to put the most critical piece or the first critical piece of in infrastructure on the surface. And NASA says the new rovers will be crossovers between the Apollo era rovers and the Mars rovers that we have today. So that means even when the astronauts go home, the rovers can continue exploring and discovering. Where it will go, there are no roads. Its mobility will fundamentally change our view of the moon. NASA hopes Artemis 5 will land on the moon in 2029. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.